Hi, we're the Psychic Twins, and we're here with the mythical Amelia Farr. Amelia! Yay! Yay! Good to meet you. Hi. Hi. So Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, we're so excited. I can't believe you're here. I cannot believe I'm here. You flew like, truly. in, and I bet you're from Montreal. Montreal. Yeah, from Montreal. Oh, yeah. gosh. Right? Yeah. A and lot of people. never been in L.A. before? No, it's weird here. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah. You it's find it to be really weird. kind of fast paced like and as, stressful. As soon as I came to the airport, just the energy was so di like, yes. it's just the way people look at each other feels yeah. different. I went to a Target, which I was so excited about because oh, I've been watching like I Shane and Trish and Drew go to Target. Uh, oh, you like, don't have them in Canada? No, we don't. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I was excited to have this like Target adventure and the, the vibes were weird. I started to cry in the candy aisle. What? <laughs> You are emotional. <laughs> yeah. And I yeah. am too. Though. Oh my I'm gosh. That is hilarious. Did you buy anything? I did. Okay. Is that that's a video though, right? That is. No, the crying was just it's <laughs> gotta cry. <laughs> <laughs> I cry in Target all the time. I do. <laughs> totally relieved. <laughs> totally. So basically we're triplets separated at birth. Oh, <laughs> right? Psychic triplets. I really say. feel that though. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of new to your channel, to be honest, Amelia. Yeah. And we are just like totally We love your videos. Obsessed. Thank Obsessed you. with yes. Amelia Farr. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, you have so much raw talent, raw, fresh you're self-deprecating. It's like you take the worst things in life and you transmute them into the best things. And that's how you teach through your suffering. You transmute it. In Buddhism, it's called poison into medicine. Cool. And you have this alchemy. It's, an, it's like an alchemy that you're doing with your negative experiences. Yeah. In Buddhism, we call yeah. it Hindoku Ayaku. Yeah. It's just a real gift. I mean, I feel like you are more of an artist. You're taking YouTube to a whole new level because you're an artist. A true Other artist. Other YouTubers really, most of them aren't. So I think that you're really elevating the whole platform, and we're very impressed with your your videos. Yeah, I mean, I can, I feel like I feel emotional right now. I feel like crying right oh, now. Oh, I almost Did just you? cried. Did you? Really? Yeah. really? Yeah. Oh my god. God. It's, I mean, it's so neat when like-minded spirits, it's kind of rare, but you know, come together from so far away. Yeah. Uh, and we're so delighted you flew all this way. We just were so happy to meet you because you're really what, you're part of our tribe. It's a rare feeling uh, when, you know, like we connected with Shane and Drew and you know, all these other people, Garrett. It, it just feels like you've been family before, mm -hmm. and that's what it feels like with you, mm -hmm. it, for us both. And I feel like we have you know, been together in a past life, I'm not sure which one, but it just feels like very comfortable, like we're talking to somebody who gets us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and it does. Spirit is saying they're, they're so proud of you. Um, your spirit guides are, are very um, influential. They really have been guiding you to do this for a while. They knew it would be a great home for you, the YouTube thing. Mm -hmm. And it is turning out to be hugely successful. We see tremendous success in the next few years, especially. It feels like 2020, 21, and 22. High zenith years for you, yeah. where you're just going to be doing so many wonderful things. Spinning a lot of plates. Film, TV. And I also feel that you're teaching people how to embrace their own uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Just by being so courageous in putting your own self and your inner self forward so courageously and so bravely, uh, I feel like you're helping everybody to open up and open their mm -hmm. hearts and be more creative and to just set themselves and also you're helping people focus on mental health which is a big thing for us as well and we've been very open about our depression and anxiety mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. you really 
are open. I mean, you put everything out there, don't you? Yeah. You don't censor yourself very much, no, do you? I love you? that. That's, just... that's incredible. I mean, people are very inspired by that because you show very freely what most people would yeah. hide. And that's what's remarkable. You just don't make any excuses or apologies for who you are and what you've been through. And that's in itself pretty amazing. Well, people love that, but I just feel that it's so inspiring to watch you. And it's not just your humor, mm -hmm. it's everything about you mm -hmm. and your energy. It's the gestalt. Yeah, the whole gestalt of it. The whole thing. Mm -hmm. And the clothing and everything. You really work up a great style. I really feel like you've been, a, you've been a thespian before. It feels like you were on the stage. It feels like a European life. I felt that. Where you were very, um, you were a male in that life. And it feels like it was um, getting 13th, 14th century. But you were extremely uh, at body and, but nothing like this. It was just sort of the precursor to what you're doing now. It wasn't Shakespeare because he didn't live yet, he wasn't alive yet, but it was something mm -hmm. very theatrical and fun. Well, I got another life actually where you were an opera singer. Cool. Ah, Did you ever have a sense of that in a past life? People have asked me if I'm an opera singer before. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, how funny. <laughs> and sometimes that. you dress up a little bit like one with yeah. the roses here and here. Yeah. It, it, it feels very much like you are bringing forward that, that life. Well, that was, um, that feels like France, 19th century. So probably okay. Paris. Mm. I feel okay. like it's Paris. But yeah. anyway, there's other past lives that I want to get into just because you're so interesting. Um, mm -hmm. I felt that you were a landowner, a wealthy landowner in Russia. Oh, okay. Past life in Russia. You were a witch in England. <laughs> <laughs> That's everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it is. That is. And, uh, there, uh, <laughs> does that resonate with you? Yeah, all of this kind of does. Kind of a wow. druid, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, oh, that's good. I'm glad it does. Usually it does. What, whatever we receive from spirit will resonate with the person we're reading. Mm -hmm. um, but you're so in touch with all of those. I really feel like you dance with the spirits. You really have a yeah. lot of, uh, of help from the other dimensions. Yeah. And you're kind of aware of that. Water is very important to you yeah and that's interesting because I channeled that the seal is your power totem your animal totem oh. and oh, yeah. or one of them that means you're very connected to your deep inner emotions represented by the sea very deep very flowing but then again you feel things almost too deeply sometimes and it makes you suffer mm -hmm. when you're afraid of drowning you will always remember how to swim that's seal medicine Mm -hmm. uh, you will always have the wherewithal to go back up to the top and float and, and swim. And so they're saying, uh, you know, call upon your spirit guides and your animal power totems. That can help you to gain strength. Well, I also sort of uh, felt the wolf was another power animal for you. Mm -hmm. The wolf is the teacher. So that's pretty much what you do all through life, mm -hmm. you know, waking right. or sleeping, you are teaching people. Mm -hmm. I feel you're a high teacher. High spiritual teacher, and, and you're kind um, of like a life coach, actually, <laughs> I think. Oh, yeah. I mean, not Pretty even self-consciously be being that, but you naturally yeah. teach yeah. through your videos, which are very conceptual, yes. uh, which is yes. what makes it art. They're so beautifully edited. They are little vignettes that are truly art pieces. Yes. And that's what I think is so yeah. unusual about your work. Well, it's so fresh. That you is... You know, you're not like pranky people so much. You're, <laughs> you're not just doing challenges that everybody right. else has done a million yeah. times. You're so mm -hmm. original and fresh. Mm -hmm. And people respect that they connect with yeah, that. Yeah, totally. You were actually a Hindu monk. Ring a bell? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I, well, I don't know. Well, I feel like <laughs> all the past lives you're saying, I feel like I do have like a little bit. Yeah, I feel like a, mm -hmm. a piece. Yeah. Connection with it. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, pe some people don't believe in past lives, and that's fine. Billions of yeah. people do believe because they're Buddhist or Hindu or something like that. <laughs> uh, actually, the Bible talked about reincarnation, but they took that part out. It ain't, you know, that hard to embrace the fact that this isn't the only life we have. And I think it's comforting in a way 
we know, you know, there's an afterlife and then we're gonna come back again and maybe get another shot, maybe get another chance to challenge yourself, to mm -hmm. learn. Um, or develop another aspect of your mm -hmm. character that there's, you weren't able to before in past lives. Mm -hmm. There's a connection to Sirius, which is the dog star. And I really, that really resonates. The dog star Sirius is 8.6 light years away, Amelia. And I just feel like people who have a connection with Sirius may have been there mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. as an astral being are, are really like, more intelligent. They're more intellectual too, mm -hmm. actually. People that are connected to Sirius. It's kind of rare that we meet people with a connection yeah. to Sirius. You know, I really feel like your dad is around. I really do. Yeah. He's very proud and he, he's coming with so much love. He now I, now so I feel much. like crying. Mm -hmm. So sorry, so sorry that I left you so young. I am so, so he's, so he's proud full of, of regret mm -hmm. and yeah. wow, there, there's just so much love coming in from him. Do, can I ask you, does he visit you in dreams? Before he died, we would always talk about um, our dreams together. So I, I was aware that he was like, I was aware of his mortality for most of my life. So because we both felt very connected to our dreams and we would talk about them all the time, I thought that when he died, he would come to me in my dreams all the time. Mm. So I was just kind of expecting that. Yes. But since he died, I haven't really, mm -hmm. I have dreams about him, but mm. I can feel that it's not really him. Like it's more of like, it turns into like kind of a nightmare. But I had a dream about my my grandpa mm. and I, I could feel that that was him. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, it makes me sad a little bit that I expected Mm -hmm. Does that feel yes. more connected to him? Yes. Yes. Everybody, so, everybody does. Well, <laughs> People tell us that all the it's time. True. Yeah. yeah. I, what I feel yeah. is um, usually it's right after someone passes yeah. that you will dream about them more, or mm -hmm. a lot even. Sometimes they'll come in other ways through music or computers. Our mom types us you know, her names and initials and things like that all the time. Jane, J, 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 J. So they'll often use TV, music, computers, electronics as ways to communicate. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you can develop to a point where you can have him visit more in your dreams. Okay. That can be developed. Ask him to come. And you may give you a message. You know, you may remember your dreams more clearly. I feel like he's sitting on your bed sometimes. He's saying he loved your singing. He loved your singing. Oh, <laughs> he did. And he thought you were he thought you were really funny. <laughs> you made him laugh. Oh, and boy. I think, you know, you guys were together in a past life. Same with your mom, mm -hmm. you and your mom. What's why am I keep a, I keep getting a gold ring connected with him? Do you have a gold ring or do you have a piece of his jewelry or something? Wow. Um, yeah. Wow. Do you? Yeah. That's crazy. He gave me his mm -hmm wedding ring from when he was married to my mom. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'll show you where I wrote everything. Yeah. That's crazy. That's yeah. dad. Yeah. That's, That's dad coming through. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, dad. I feel him here. So, I mean, I feel like... He's so, so present. Emotional. He's so happy you're here. Because he really wanted to tell you how much he loves you and how proud he is of you. You know, he hasn't really gone anywhere because um, the soul never dies. Yeah. It just changes form. Yeah. It transforms into a different kind of energy. And mm -hmm. the, the deceased are, are pretty much just superimposed, not far from our plane. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're thousands of miles away. They're mm -hmm. right here, and you can ask them to come in and sit at your kitchen table and just chat. I talk yeah. to him all the time. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Wow. He will be coming in more wow. now that we've talked. You're going to notice. That. And ask him. Ask him to come in your dreams with a positive message. You can mm -hmm. also ask your dream masters not to bring you nightmares. Okay. To make it come in with a more of a pleasant message. Because I think you're so psychic. You literally are picking up on everybody's suffering around you and your own fears, which go back many lifetimes, they're all kind of informing your dreams. So ask please to get a positive message from him that's free of any kind of other fears that might be attached to him or his passing or okay. your fear of death. Yeah. I don't think you have as much a fear of death as you used to. Yeah. I was picking up on dogs as well. I think he is with dogs now. I don't know yes. if he had dogs 
you know, in your life with you. But uh, I feel like he's with dogs now. I just feel like you're so authentic. You're almost like, I, I was once told that, actually by Michael Luton, who's a famous astrologer, he said I was like 10 clowns squeezed into a VW bug. And that's how I feel <laughs> about you. I, you know, that is exactly that, right. Having, without having met you, I just feel like... <laughs> That's sort of the feeling I get when I, I watch your videos. Yeah. You're just, it, it, it's yeah. just this exuberant joy, yeah. you know, that I feel from you. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're not crazy at all, <laughs> no. you know. <laughs> More sane than most. Actually. Yeah, you're not, you're not crazy. Just in comparison, you feel crazy at all. because you're so in touch with your, with your feelings. Mm -hmm. You know, I just and feel dyeing your hair blue while sledding down a hill on a pizza is totally normal. It's I completely know. fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god! I'm so sliding! Oh my god. to get your chores done yeah and so just do it on a pizza exactly i mean the hard part is finding <laughs> snow out here but we do it don't we we do so and now. a good pizza is hard to find <laughs> i oh, wow. i really feel like the message coming yeah. through for you so strongly is forgive yourself there was trauma early childhood there was trauma in early teenage years mm -hmm. and i feel like it started for some reason it started a spiral for you and it triggered some of the depression that you're struggling with. Was somebody in a family bipolar or manic depressive? Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't have to tell me who. No. But I feel like it, it was sort of further back in the line. It wasn't just one person, yeah. you know, yeah. kind of. Yeah. I feel like you're really healing like a lot of emotions, lower vibration emotions that you've carried in from past lives like fear, mm -hmm. shame, rage, regret. It almost was like grief from past life. And a lot of these go into past life traumas that you've carried with you on a cellular level mm -hmm. and a psychic level. And I think mm -hmm. over the next, you know, however many years as you explore different kinds of healing, you could probably clear yourself of these lower vibration energies that you're, because you're really ascending, we call it ascension. It's, it's really yeah. something everybody's going through through now, even dogs are going through the ascension process. It's fascinating to look it up and learn more about it, but you might think, oh, it's just, it's me, there's something wrong with me that I feel depressed or I have back pain or I feel headachy or, and it's very often not physical for you. Mm -hmm. It's not physical, these are symptoms that people come in with to uh, help them with the ascension process to new levels of being more crystalline. You'll be more psychic. Your dormant psychic glands are gonna be opening and you're gonna notice, wow, I, I, I can I have more clairvoyant dreams. Do you have swishing or ringing in your ears ever or kind of a stuffy feeling? Mm -hmm. That's part of the ascension process. Also, uh, we have that um, too in the eye. Well, also you're in your Saturn return, it's called, right now. You're 29? Yeah. We, we all have a Saturn return period uh, astrologically when we hit 28, Saturn is in the same position as it was at our birth. Mm -hmm. And so for the next two, three years from 28 to 31, we go through this, it's almost like an inner searching for our Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. What we're really about, what do we really wanna do? What's the message we want to teach the world? And I feel like that's happening for you. Wouldn't be surprised if you go through a lot of changes this next couple of years. Mm -hmm. It could be that you uh, become uh, some other religion or that you start a new job or that you have a new girlfriend or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it's always a, a lot of big changes. When I was your age, I got divorced and I became a Buddhist and we, you know, mm -hmm. took over a company. And so I feel mm -hmm. like it's going to be dramatic changes, but good, it's all good. Mm -hmm. You'll come out of it the other side at the age of 31 and you're gonna really know who you are much more. But it's definitely an awakening period, a time of yes. real transformation for you, I feel. I feel that. You do, mm -hmm. do you? Because mm -hmm. you're really kind good. of exploding now on the scene in YouTube, uh, it's like exponentially you'll notice growth and you know millions of people kind of flocking because you have that magnetic quality. 
that you bring to all media, but whenever you do YouTube videos, it's like people are magnetized, they're drawn to your vibration and your humor. And you're, they just can't, they don't know what to make of you. The average person doesn't really know how to view you, but you spark something within them that makes them feel alive, truly alive. <laughs> What I'm hearing too is you need to forgive yourself, honey, for being profoundly human. Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on that one. Okay. Because that is coming through loud and clear. There's something very deep there. Okay. Because you're not really an earth being. You're a star oh, being. You're an ET. An ET. You are. Okay. You are an ET. And you so really are. it's kind of been hard for you to acclimate to this earth, this dense, lower vibration earth energy. It certainly was for us too, and I think that's part of uh, some of the choices you made in, in your teen years. Mm -hmm. It's sort of because you were trying to kind of find anything to anchor you, mm -hmm. or to it, or to take you away, to mm -hmm. escape from the reality mm -hmm. of your life. You had to take on a lot as a young person, so give yourself a break. Yes. Okay. It, it's not this, like anything's like terribly wrong with you. You're not damaged. You're, you're not broken. You don't need fixing. You're not broken. Mm -hmm. You don't need fixing. Right. There's so much love and support around you. I, I feel tremendous. Um, Precognitive dreams. You predict the future with your dreams. Yeah. Sometimes. You do. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like 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 little tiny. Not usually anything that matters, but. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in between sleep and wake, like I'll wake up in a start and I'll have like the craziest time wow. was um, my sister was pregnant and she had another daughter. She had a daughter already. She was pregnant with a son mm -hmm. and I was like in between sleep and wake. And then in like this weird in between dream, my niece says and my sister's and my niece says something's wrong with the baby. And then I woke up like in her stomach. Wow. And then I woke up and I couldn't fall back asleep and I just felt very unsettled. Mm -hmm. And then three hours wow. later, my sister called me. She said she's in the hospital because something's wrong with the oh, baby. Oh my God. Was she okay? She was okay. It was oh, all the baby stop. was fine. It was oh, all right. That's See? your ability. But, you know, I never had, told her because I was like, yeah, you really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want uh, to yeah, We have had similar experiences where we'll dream mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Like I had a friend who lived down the hallway and I had a dream that her friend, her male friend was molesting her son, her baby son. Oh my God. And I told her and she never spoke to me again. You know, so she didn't that's want to the danger it. of yeah. having this gift is like, not everybody's ready to receive. You wonder at yeah. least, you, you know. But I know, I know I was I know right. right. I know it was. I was not about being right, it was just a message that no. was so clear. No, it was to save the it. kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. You know, and so. Sometimes police arrest the psychic for having details about a, a, a crime that happened. Wow. So that's kind of the They'll fine line them. that we walk in, yeah, in doing it, murder cases true. and things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're at risk. Yeah, not an easy calling. People say we're just pretending to be psychic. Look, if there was something we were going to pretend to be, it would not be psychic <laughs> twins. It wouldn't be this. <laughs> to be, receive the kind of backlash. Are you crazy? Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. vitriol. Yeah, we're going to pretend yeah. to be psychic uh, twins. It, it would be anything but, really. Mm -hmm. But it's a, it's part of our calling. That's, yeah. that's our mission, our life purpose. Mm -hmm. Did you have any questions that you'd like to know in this particular part of the collab? We're going to do another video on Neil's <laughs> Channel. No, I think I, that, that was that was incredible. Oh, um, oh, I, yeah, thank you, I sweetheart. I felt that whole thing, and yeah, that's I love you. you guys. Oh, we, we love, love you, you so too. much. <laughs> you're you're a special special Bless friend. Thank you. And and I hope that you will you know come and visit us whenever you're in town. Oh, yes, yes. You. please please stay in touch. We're going to do more future predictions, yeah. career, all love, kinds all stuff. kinds of good stuff on Amelia's channel. So make sure you check that out. Thanks so much, Amelia. Thank you. And I hope you all check out Amelia's channel. Hit like and subscribe. And, and we'll, we'll see you in the future. future.